Hey everyone and welcome to another Wargaming Terrain Tutorial. This week's video we're going to get back to making some tabletop terrain. Specifically we're going to be looking at making some barricades. So in the video I will show you how to make these in two ways. So whether you want a simple timber barricade, uh, which is perfect for fantasy or Age of Sigma units, uh, or you're looking for something for your modern and sci-fi or 40k units, uh, we'll be doing both of those in this video today. Uh, now the second one will bring together a few different elements from previous builds I've done. I'll put the links to those below as well as throughout the video. Uh, the materials I'll use are the same materials we've used throughout the channel so far, so there's nothing new as far as that goes if you are following along with those videos. I uh, hope you enjoy this video today. Uh, please remember to subscribe if you enjoy uh, this type of content, and I will release some more soon. Uh, if you're looking to support the channel further, uh, please feel free to jump on over to my Patreon. Uh, I do have articles going up there every couple of weeks. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, let's get started. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, the materials for this build should be quite familiar to you if you've watched any of my other videos. Uh, we're going to be using some stirring sticks as well as some paddle pop sticks. Uh, now, I didn't use the short ones in the end, so you may not need those. Uh, I've got a small scrap of foam board and a little bit of corrugated card as well. Uh, though those two materials there, as you see, will be more than enough to cover us for this build. Uh, now, if you want to add a little bit more variation, you can certainly look at adding some matchsticks or something else along the way. Uh, now to hold up our barricades I'll be using some uh, rounded kitchen skewers or dowels. Uh, these will work perfect for that purpose. Uh, now for my build I'm going to be using PVA glue. You could certainly probably use super glue in its place if you like. Uh, so the first step we're going to do is just break off the rounded edges on our paddle pop stick. This will be the main cross uh, support at the bottom of our barricades. Uh, for this, this time around I'm actually using the pliers to snap these off. I want these edges to be a little bit rougher uh, rather than a clean cut look so I'm not using the garden shears for this part. Uh, the pliers work really well to easily snap these off and, and give them a bit of a rough wood look which uh, ends up looking really good on the build at the end. Um, so if you've got those handy do that, um, otherwise cut them off it'll be fine, that's not going to make a huge difference at the end of the day. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is just get one of those stirrers, uh, the thin stirrers we've got, and uh, we just want to cut this a little bit shorter than the uh, main paddle pop stick we've got there. This will just be mounted on the back of the barricade, so it won't be seen, so it doesn't really matter if you snap these or cut them, uh, it should be fine. Uh, when we go to glue these on, uh, I don't want these right in the middle, nor do I want them right up to one edge of the uh, larger paddle pop stick. I'm just going to smear some PVA glue and place this just a little bit off one side. So uh, you'll see shortly when I um, show you it's uh, not quite on the edge, uh, but not quite in the middle as well. So uh, when you glue these down, uh, you might find, especially with these thinner stirring sticks, that it's hard to keep them straight and they might be a little bit bent and bowed. It can make gluing a little bit tricky. Uh, you'll see in just a moment. Um, a couple of mine didn't stick flat down like this one did, so you might just want to get yourself a book or something like that uh, just to hold these down flat. As you see there, there's a bit of a gap there when I put this one on. Uh, so just grab a book and, and lay that on top. Anything heavy will do the trick. Uh, now, before we go too much further, I do want to show you just a quick tip here. Uh, if you're wanting to score up your timbers, uh, your uprights for this build, and you want them to have that little bit more of an ingrained timber look, uh, just get yourself a little bit of a hacksaw blade uh, if you've got an old one laying around. Uh, I don't think they're cheap, too expensive to buy anyway, but um, I just found if I got myself a small piece of hacksaw blade, cut it off, uh, it's easy enough to handle then. And you can just scrape that across these little stirring sticks or paddle pop sticks and it will give you an ingrained wood effect. It's a bit hard to see there in the photo, but uh, or in the video, but uh, yeah, trust me, that works a lot easier than trying to score it up with a knife or anything like that. Uh, it does a trick in a couple of swipes as well, so you don't need to... Uh, you know, spend too much time doing that then. So, as you can see now, I've got this all glued up, and uh, that uh, stirring stick is just off centered a little bit. And I'm going to be making three barricades this time around. Uh, so, the next thing we need to do is just quickly place a couple of uprights on here. So, we're just going to bare bones this first part of this process just so that it allows us to sort of take some time and, and have plenty of room to move on the barricade. So what we're going to do is just place three small uprights on here. So I'm breaking these off at around about uh, roughly an inch. And uh, again, I want these to be rather rough looking, so I've snapped those rather than cut them. Uh, just a small dab of glue, uh, one on each end and then one roughly around the middle. There's nothing precise about this at all, so uh, just you know, just work with it as you, as you go through. There's no need to be too precise or anything like that. Uh, you should find this will come together pretty easily. Uh, if you just follow along with the video here. 
Uh, now when you put these on you want to make sure that they are not um, protruding at the bottom of the paddle pop stick there. Uh, that'll just mean that they won't sit very flat or straight on the tabletop so you just want to make sure that they're just raised a little bit so that they're not uh, protruding at the bottom. Uh, and probably you don't need these to be straight up and down either. A little bit of a slant or an angle on these will make them look pretty good. They are hastily constructed defences so we're not looking to make these perfect in any way. Uh, we'll add to the look down the track. Now I am going to use, while those are drying, uh, we're going to do a couple of things. I'm going to use some pallets uh, that I made in a previous video using this little jig here. Uh, it's just a small right angle, makes it a little bit easier to put them together. Uh, I'll put a link to that video up above, uh, but you can see here I've made a couple of these already. Uh, this one I used some matchsticks in the middle, uh, but in the previous video I just used stirring sticks, so whatever you've got on hand should be fine. Uh, just changes the look a little bit. Uh, they, these ones are a little bit thinner, but uh, they all work exactly the same. Now I have roughed them up a little bit, snapped a few brick, uh, a few uh, planks off there, and broken a few planks on those ones as well. Uh, but if you've got uh, throughout this build, you'll notice that there is plenty of time to uh, sit around and build other things while you wait for glue to dry, especially if you're uh, using PVA glue. Uh, I'm going to also use these I beams uh, that we made. We made the tank traps. I had a couple of these spare, but I've also made up a couple of shorter ones, as you'll see in a second. Uh, these will go quite, quite nicely on our uh, 40k barricades. Just adds another element on there, something we can paint a different colour, give it a bit more of a different look. Um, so, yeah, I'll be using a couple of different lengths of those ones as well. They're really easy to put together. Uh, for those ones, I did use a hot glue gun to, to glue them up, but uh, PVA should work fine. It's just a little bit harder to um, hold them in place. The glue gun will work nice and quick for you if you don't mind burning your fingers a little bit. Uh, but as we go uh, through here, the next uh, one of the next steps we're going to be doing is um, getting these barricades to stand up. So. For that I'm using the kitchen skewers and I'm snapping these off it's roughly about four centimeters or maybe an inch and a half or so um, in length for each of these. Uh, I've used the whole skewer so only one of these has got the pointed end but we're going to go through shortly and fix that up. So um, just eyeball this, these don't have to be perfect length, it'll all sit properly at the end of the day anyway. Now, I'm only using three skewers for each barricade on this but if you do want to use more just break off some more, uh, it would just mean you've got to spend a little bit more time sharpening up the points on these. For this I just used a craft knife to sort of carve these down to the point, you can probably use sandpaper or something if you've got it on hand, uh, whatever you've got to use should be fine, it didn't take too long um, and you'll end up with a bunch of skewers with pointy ends on them, if you want to use them all the way across the barricade that's fine, just cut more of them and uh, these work out just uh, perfect for standing these, up, these barricades upright. So the next part of the process before we put those skewers in is just to put another cross brace across here. So for this part we're going to use another stirring stick. Uh, again we're just going to break it to roughly the length we need, uh, which again is going to be just a bit shorter than our large paddle pop stick at the bottom, but uh, it's got to be long enough there just to make sure it has contact with those three uprights that we've placed already. So um, just snap that off and set it down to glue with some PVA or super glue. Uh, again, you might find that these being a little bit bent, they might be a bit hard to get the contact points for all three of those uprights. Uh, so just um, place this with something a little bit with a little bit of weight on it, um, just to hold it down nice and flat so that glue dries where you need it. As you can see, these are glued up and ready to go. Uh, we're going to about ready to stand these up and uh, put our skewers in uh, and our stakes for the front. For this I just used some PVA glue, um, placed three drops just next to those uprights. Uh, again, just gives it another extra bit of contact point for the glue and for the skewer to go in. You do want to get yourself something that you can prop these up against because uh, they're not going to stand on their own weight with this PVA glue. They will want, tend to want to fall over, so um, if you can get yourself something just to sit beside these it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, I would recommend at this point not to glue too many skewers in. It does make it a little bit tricky to prop these up if you're trying to put in you know, skewers all the way across this. So the bare minimum of what you need uh, while you're propping these up and getting these first lot to dry will be perfect. Uh, then you won't need that. Um, you won't need the barricade as I've got there to hold these up once you've got these first ones dry. So I'm just going to stand it up, get it on a little bit of an angle. You do want this leaning a little bit back just so that it's not going to fall forward when you get it all put together. Uh, so once you've got your angle roughly right, you can just place those skewers into those uh, drips of PVA glue that we've placed on the back of the barricade and 
we'll just make sure you move this to a place where you're not going to need to um, work for a few minutes because uh, yeah you won't be able to pick these up without those skewers sort of uh, moving inside in that PVA glue so uh, just put, set them down let them dry uh, let that PVA dry you might want to go back and put another drip of PVA glue across those skewers uh, once you get them in place just to give it a little bit of extra strength uh, but at this point we can start looking at making our first barricade. Now for the first barricade today we're just going to be using these wood stakes. I've just broken them up into some different widths and some different shapes there and we're just going to place these onto the um, onto that structure that we've built already. Now this one as it is is pretty much done. Uh, it'll just get a bit of a paint job on that and it'll be right to go with my um, Age of Sigma shelf so I'll put that up there once I get it painted and I'm happy to leave that one as it is. For the next two we're actually going to start putting on some extra details. Uh, now I'm not going to put all the timber uprights on there before I put these details on. These will make up part of the barricade as far as I'm concerned so uh, what we're going to do is grab one of our pallets that I've sort of broken down a little bit there. I'm just do a quick dry fit to make sure it's there. Uh, if you do break up the pallets no need to really worry about breaking up the back um, planks on those. Uh, the more contact point you have for the glue uh, when you put these on the better. So I just found um, breaking or pulling off some of those um, planks on the front of the pallet was more than enough and gave me the look I needed so you shouldn't need to go into too much uh, hard work on those to get them in place. Again just figure out where you want to put it. Make sure it's not protruding at the bottom of the uh, barricade so that it is still going to sit flat on the table when you've got that glue dry and uh, you can just set those up. Uh, give them a few minutes to dry. It shouldn't take too long for those um, to sort of set in place so you can start working on the next part. Um, for me I'm just going to start adding on a few little bits of wood. Uh, I'm also going to look at putting on some of those I-beams that we made and I'm going to cut myself a few little sheets of corrugated card. These are just for um, you know sheets of iron uh, that we're going to place on there to give it a bit of an extra look. Uh, of detail. Uh, again, you don't need to use any of these things. You could use as much or as little as you need to. Uh, you've got, uh, if you've got bits in your bits box that you think will fit on there, feel free to go ahead and do that. Uh, if you're, uh, you know, if you're lucky enough to have yourself a 3D printer, you might want to print up some other details to add on here. Uh, I currently don't, so I'm uh, scratch building all my stuff at the moment. So. Uh, that's why I'm using all these materials and previous builds to sort of fancy these up a little bit. Now when it comes to your corrugated card it should be pretty simple. Uh, you can fold this stuff and again just give it a quick dry fit. Uh, these will be able to be moved once they're glued in place. Well I mean you'll be able to bend any bits that are sticking out. You'll be able to manipulate them a little bit once they're in place. Uh, but yeah just do it best to do a quick dry fit when you do put these on. Now with these ones you don't need to worry too much if it does protrude out the bottom of the barricade you can just bend that up and have it sitting um, on what will be the ground. So as you can see there I've got that one which is going to protrude out the bottom a little bit. I'm not at all worried about that. I'll be able to just bend that over and you know, maybe place some rocks or something like that on it if I want to uh, or just leave it sitting there as it is. Uh, now one of the last stages for my build here is uh, once I've finished putting on uh, these last few details uh, the last stage for me uh, in this build is going to be actually adding some rocks so that's where a little scrap of foam board is going to come in handy uh, what we're going to do is just sort of break that up into some little shapes that are you know kind of look like rocks or they certainly will once we put them all together um, so for this part of the process what I did was I left uh, one uh, one bottom section of the foam board and one back section of the foam board flat. This just allows it to glue flat on the back and also lets me press it down so it'll be flat on the tabletop. So you should be able to see what I mean there um, as we get into the build here. Uh, as far as the rocks go, it's just small chips of foam board that I've broken off. I've got a, I'll end up with a small pile here shortly as you can see there. Uh, and I'm, end I'm just going to end up gluing those straight onto the uh, barricades uh, as you'll see in a moment. So I've got this little piece of foam board here, as you can see the bottom is flat and uh, the back of this one is flat as well. Uh, like I said that will just help it sit nice and straight on our barricade and from there we'll actually build it up with some of those foam chips. So what i found is if you place it where you want it and then put your barricade down, you should be able to press down on the foam board there just to make sure that it is making contact with the tabletop. And from there we're going to make a couple more of those little um, base pieces of rock and just glue them straight on. 
Now if you don't have a flat part of the paddle pop stick there to glue these on, you should be able to um, sort of press in or even just cut out a small bit of the um, foam board at the back just to make sure that it is contacting properly uh, when you're gluing it on. I'm going to put a few of these across these two barricades here and then like I said we're going to um, pile up a few rocks on there so that it looks like um, piles of rubble. Uh, now there's certainly no right or wrong way to go about this, uh, just follow the, if you follow that process uh, and just place them wherever you think they're going to look good, uh, they'll, they should end up being fine for, your, uh, for these barricades. So again, if you keep that bottom and uh, back section of the first piece of foam board that you put on flat, it'll, it'll sit there nicely and uh, with this PVA glue it's not going to go anywhere. So uh, you can see there I've just pressed in a little bit on that um, back section of foam board just so that it will sit nice and straight against that barricade uh, and from here what we're going to do is just add in some rocks. Uh, now to do that I just added a drip of uh, PVA glue around the top of these base pieces of rubble and then just selecting a small piece of foam board just press it in there. Uh, you might want to get yourself a toothpick or something to help push these around. If you do end up with some glue on your fingers doing this, uh, it can get quite frustrating trying to um, pick these up and place them down. So um, I just move those around and just go through and add some more PVA glue where I, wherever I want these to be a small pile of rubble. So uh, again, you could probably use whatever you've got on hand if you find um, you know actual rocks is, or pebbles is what you've got. Uh, that, that'll be fine, I don't think there's going to be too much of a problem putting those onto the bottom of these barricades either. I uh, find that you know it's a good, good way to use some old scraps of foam board, so uh, it looks pretty good. It's the same technique we used when we made the concrete barriers, so I was really happy with these and, and how the, those rocks turned out. So, as you can see, we've got our uh, small wooden barricade and we've got these two junk barricades, if you like. Uh, which we've added a few different elements on. The little piles of rubble look really good. I'm really happy with these. Uh, I'll get these ones painted up soon and I will release the video for that one as well. Now you can see on this one I've actually used a small oil drum. Uh, now that did come from a previous video we did or a couple of videos we did. Uh, one where we made these uh, little uh, LED fire drums and those oil drums. Uh, again, just whatever you've got on hand should be perfect for this build. Uh, so if you've got bits in your bits box, throw them on there as well. Uh, if you want to check out those videos, like I said, I've got them in the description below. And you can check out my playlist, which includes them all as well. So thanks very much for watching the video. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, I'm sorry it was a little bit long again, but uh, if you've enjoyed it, hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you want to see some more of these. And if you are, by chance, looking for a way to support the channel further, jump across to my Patreon. Like I said at the beginning, I do have some articles that I throw up there every now and then, and I try to preview uh, upcoming builds on there as well. So I'll have the paint video for this one coming out very soon. Uh, you might see that on my Patreon uh, a couple of days early if I can get it edited and sorted out quickly. Uh, appreciate your time, guys. Thanks very much for watching.